name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that He entered His own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city of our salvation, following in His footsteps, so that, being made by His grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in His resurrection and in His life. We now have the blessing of the palms. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through Him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Magsitayo po ang lahat at ating pong ituloy ang ating banal na misa. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed His lesson of patient suffering 
and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me my cheeks to those who pluck my beard. My face I did not shield from both face and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like a flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have perceived, they have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Jesus Christ, though he was in a form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the, sa at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Christ became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things, Again, Pilate questioned him. 
Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder. Crucify him! So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and, after he had Jesus' courage, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple, and weaving a crown of thorns, placed it on him. They began to salute him with, and kept striking his head with a reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him of his own clothes, and led him out to crucify him. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the palace of Go to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him the wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garment by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. With him they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha! You who destroy the temple, and build it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise the chief priests and with the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let God, the King of Israel, come down from the cross, that you may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard him said, Look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed, and gave, him, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Please kneel. Please stand. Truly, truly, this man was the son of God. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
Ngayong araw po na ito, pinagdiriwang natin ang linggo ng palaspas ng pagpapakasakit ng ating Panginoong Hesus. Nais ko po sanang ipaalala, ang mga palaspas ay ating binebendisyonan. Ito ay binebless, hindi upang maging anting-anting sa bahay. Hindi siya pangontra sa lagin, hindi siya pangontra sa sa kidlat o kang anumang uri pang mga bagay na kung saan siya ay ginagawang panangga o anting-anting nga. Pero ang mga palaspas na meron po tayo ngayon ay pagpapaalala po sa atin. Kaya nga po inilalagay natin ito sa ating mga altar o kaya naman sa harap ng ating mga bahay, sa ating mga pintuan. Pagpapaalala sa saan? Pagpapaalala sa pagsalubong kay Jesus nung siya ay pumasok sa Jerusalem upang kanyang harapin ang kanyang pagpapakasakit. Pagpapakasakit ang pagpapakita ng kadakilaan ng kanyang pagmamahal sa tao. Si Jesus ay pumasok sa Jerusalem upang siya ay dumaan sa daan patungo sa kalbaryo, patungo sa krus. Siya ang ating sinusundan. Si Jesus na nasaktan. Si Jesus na naiwanan. Si Jesus na nahirapan. Siya ay nasaktan, siya ay iniwan, siya ay nahirapan sa mga iba't ibang pagkakataon. Sa pamamagitan ni Judas Escariote, nung siya ay pinagkanulo. Ni Pedro, nung siya ay inilibak tatlong beses. O kaya naman, ng mga Hudyo, nung siya ay hinusgahan at siyang ipinapako sa krus. Nung siya ay ipinagpalit kay Barabas, na siyang napalaya, noong siya, sila ay pinapili kung sino ang palalayain. Nung siya ay ay nag, siya ay nasa, nas, nahirapan sa, sa pagbuhat ng kanyang krus at nung siya ay maipako sa krus. Nahirapan siya, naiwan, nasaktan. Pero hindi nag-iisa, hindi sumuko sa pamamagitan din ng mga tao na ipinadala ng kanyang Diyos na Ama sa pamamagitan ni Simon ng Sirene nung siya ay tinulungan na magbuhat ng kanyang mabigat na krus, sa pamamagitan ni Juan at Maria na siyang kanyang kasakasama kahit na noong siya ay nakabayubay na sa krus. Nang mga iba't ibang tao, tulad ni Salome, tulad ni Maria Magdalena, na siyang nakiramay sa kanya sa kanyang paghihirap, at higit sa lahat, ng Diyos, ang ng Diyos na kanyang ama, hindi siya iniwan, siya ay sinubaybayan, siya ay inalagaan. Si Jesus ang ating sinusundan, siya na nahirapan, siya na iniwan, siya na nasaktan, pero hindi nag-iisa. Kaya nga po, ang paalala din po sa atin, sa pamamagitan ng pagdiriwang natin sa linggo ng palaspas ay kung ano ang sinuong, ano ang hinarap ni Jesus sa kanyang pagpapakita ng kanyang pagmamahal sa atin. Ang pagpasan natin ng ating mga sariling mga krus at hindi natin pag-give up sa mga iba't ibang pagsubok sa ating buhay dahil dapat nating alalahanin na meron at merong ipapadalang tutulong po sa atin at hindi tayo pababayaan ng Diyos sa kabila ng mga hirap at pagsubok sa ating buhay. Kaya nga po, ang Diyos na ating mahal, ang Diyos na nagmamahal, ang Diyos na pag-ibig, Siya ang sana ang ating kapatnubay, Siya dapat ang ating sandigan sa mga pagsubok sa ating buhay sapagkat siya ang simula, sapagkat siya 
ang una at siya ang wakas. Kaya nga po, mga kapatid, sana sa panahon ito ng kwaresma at sa bawat sandali ng ating buhay, maisip natin ang mga paghihirap at ang pagpapakasakit ni Jesus at makita natin ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa ating buhay. At sana ang mga katagang ito naway maari nating masambit sa puso at ating isipan. Pinapaubaya ko na sa Kanya. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of Heaven, of heaven and Earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, His only, only Son, Lord, our Lord, who was, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended, he descended into hell. hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father, who will that all human beings be saved through the passion, death, and resurrection of His Son, Jesus Christ. For every petition, let us say, through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons continue to profess their faith in God in an indifferent and sometimes hostile world. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May government and civil leaders follow the example of Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life for the good of the people. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May we support the Ale Kapwa program as our way of responding to the challenges of restoring social justice and helping the weak and the needy. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May those who continue to crucify Jesus by acts of violence against their brothers and sisters be led to the road of repentance and atone for the evils they have done. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. For our parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those for whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. For those who have left the order, and for the Dominican family, and the family of our brothers, let us pray to the Lord. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Malawag, for the urgent concerns of our community, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. Father, look tenderly on your children as we follow Christ in the joy of his entrance to Jerusalem, as well as in the pains of his sacrifice on Calvary. May we be worthy to enter your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the for praise, praise and, and glory, glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that, though we do not merit it by our own deeds, Yet by this sacrifice, made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death was washed away our sins, and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so, with all the angels in joyful celebration, we too acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Amen. 
mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our, our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Dominic de Guzman, St. Martin de Porres, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we offer one another the sign of peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and Mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page facebook.com slash minor basilica manawag official thank you please stand the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessing look we pray O lord on this your family for whom our lord jesus christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We now have the blessing of the sick and blessing of our religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made the heaven and earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.